Hi Stitchers, how are you? It's the 22nd of September um, and school holidays here are going to start in a couple of hours so I thought I'd come back and get this um, Know Your Needleworker tag video done which I've been mentioning a couple of times. Um, so originally it was done by Whimsy Day School a few years ago I think. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good one to, to get everyone to know a bit more about each other. So I'll get going. Um, I've got my questions on a notepad, um, so I'll look down at those occasionally, probably more than I need to. Okay, where do you live? Um, we have currently, well, we, we've just moved um, in the last couple of months. Um, but to start way back from the beginning, I'm originally from England, um, lived there for the first 27 years of my life, and then um, got to meet my husband, um, who's an Aussie, and emigrated to Australia at the end of 2004. Um, so we were living um, the southeast suburbs of Melbourne, excuse me, um, for about 13 years. Um, and we were about half an hour out of the city, so it was it was nice. It was. Um, quiet enough for us um, but it meant that should we need to get into the city it didn't take us all that long it was an hour from the airport so it was quite convenient um, and then as the years have gone on it got busier and busier and we're both quieter people um, I grew up in the country where I was um, my husband grew up in the country as well um, so we decided to up sticks and make the move. So we are now a three and a half hour drive from the city. Um, we've moved to Eastern Victoria. Um, we're about a half hour drive from the beach. Um, but yeah, really nice area, nice quiet area. Um, we've gone from um, a city in excess of 20,000 people um, down to about 6,000 people so we're really noticing the difference and it's lovely um, so far. Um, so yeah that's it in a nutshell. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm currently not working because we've just moved um, and wanted to get my daughter settled in school um, without any issues um, but I am qualified as a an early childhood educator, um, referred to in the UK as nursery nurse, or was when I did my training 20 years ago. Um, but yeah, really love my job, um, very rewarding, very hard at times, um, but you get back what you put in a lot of the time, so I'm looking forward to um, starting up work again soon. Um, get the school holidays out of the way and then I think it's all on to, to get settled um, last piece of the puzzle and then I can get some more stitches to <laughs> it's, it's been nice actually um, excuse me I just need to have a cuppa mm. it's been nice having the extra time just lately to get some more stitching in while my daughter's been at school so I'm going to miss that when I do go back to work but I'll make the time. Okay, do you have any children? Yes, I do. Um, I have one daughter. She's eight years old. Um, and, yeah, it doesn't stop. She loves to talk. Um, she She's really good at, at entertaining herself, though, which is, you know, a godsend. Um, so, yeah, happy kid most of the time. Um, she's started to show an interest in my stitching which is, as well, which is really good. Um, done, she's done a little bit herself, which I've mentioned in a couple of previous videos. Um, so yeah, all good. Um, what are your other hobbies besides stitching? At a push, I'd say reading. Um, I used to do a lot of reading, but doesn't seem to have happened so much over the last couple of years. Um, I do try um, and generally I will go great guns if I'm on holidays um, and don't have a 
anything else to worry about. Um, but yeah, still doesn't stop me from collecting books. I'll get back to it one day properly. Um, I usually find by the time I I go to bed, I was usually a, a nighttime bedtime reader. Um, but I'm finding of late when I'm going to bed, I'm just too tired, and I get a page read, and and that's it. My eyes are closing, and and you lose the momentum, you lose where you're at. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've tried crochet in the past, hasn't worked out. I've tried knitting as a kid didn't take to it. Um, scrapbooking I gave a bit of a go, not for me. Um, so yeah, stitching really the, the only thing that's stuck. Um, and it's stuck in a big way. Uh, what is your favourite movie? Um, without a doubt, I'd say any, if, if I had to pick one movie that I could put on at any time, um, it would have to be Dirty Dancing. Um, I'm, yes, I'm on that bandwagon, um, and a good friend of mine, Belinda, who has her own channel, um, an itch to cross stitch. Um, we both both love Dirty Dancing, and she, as um, part of my birthday gift this year, she got a needle minder um, made up, um, custom made for both of us. We've got one each, so um, we can both think of one another when we're stitching um, and includes our, our love of the same movie. Um, I'm thinking it was Stitching Obsession. Um, but I might be wrong. I will find the details for that needle minder and I'll put it down below. Um, but yeah, anything that I can sort of really not have to worry too much about following uh, a story, particularly for when I'm stitching. If I'm not stitching, then um, <clears throat> it doesn't matter so much. I can watch new movies. Um, but these days it generally tends to be the Disney ones with my daughter, so nice and easy to stitch to. What's your favourite TV show? If I had to pick anything, it would probably be Downton Abbey really well made, really good drama, um, I can put it on at any time, um, and yeah, I just I love it. Um, there are other ones that are sort of along the, the same kind of lines, um, A Place to Call Home, which is an Aussie made drama, um, it's another period drama, um, love that one, would really recommend um, checking that one out. I think we're about to go into season five of that one. Um, at one point they were unsure that it was going to continue uh, because Channel 7, who were making it, um, decided that they weren't getting enough ratings so they weren't going to make it anymore. So they, they abruptly finished it at the end of season two, which was never where it was supposed to finish. Um, and then through um, petitions and, and whatnot, it actually got picked up by the cable company Foxtel um, so they continue to, to show it and it's, it's doing really well. I'm, I'm really glad that that happened. Uh, another one that I like to stitch along to is um, Call the Midwife. So again, it's it's stuff that's set um, in the past, which, yeah. It's really nice, like Sunday night drama is what we used to refer to it at home as. So something that you could, you, you don't have to concentrate hugely on you know these great big intricate storylines is not full of violence and swearing and um yeah it's really good um so i'd recommend those um what is your favorite book this took a bit of thinking about i mean there's ob the obvious things like harry potter um which i'll i'll read at any point um but i really like this series of books. Um, it's the Elm Creek Quilts series. Um, so it's set around a group of, of stitchers, um, quilters, but you know, you kind of think about, um, well I do anyway, I think about all my stitchy friends and and what it would be like to, to go, because they go away on a retreat. and um, Yeah, just a, a nice 
nice storyline about friendships. Um, there's quite a few in this series, so I'll, I'll pop the link below as well. Um, but yeah, really easy reading. Um, and yeah, another one that I would I would recommend. Um, another author that I like to read is is Lee Child. So completely opposite scale, full of violence, full of body count. Um, his books are based around a character called Jack Reacher, which you may have heard of. They've been made into a couple of them have been made into movies um, with Tom Cruise, which is another can of worms on a lot of people are really not happy with um, the casting decision, especially initially. Um, I did watch the first movie and they didn't do too bad of a job of it, but when you've read the books and Jack Reacher is six foot five and, um, you know, he's not the first person that you think of that's really well built, able to defend himself. Um, you know, we think of somebody who's short like Tom Cruise. Oh well, the books are really good. I'd really like if if you enjoy that kind of book, I would really recommend Lee Child. Um, your favourite music, um, Robbie Williams. No question. Um, really exciting just lately because he's just um, released tickets for concerts next year. Um, so every time he's come out here. I have managed to get tickets and myself and my husband have gone um, and next year he's actually, we've, we've managed to get tickets for um, the second concert he's playing in Melbourne, I, I couldn't get them for the first concert, um, but we're going on our wedding anniversary, so yeah, it's going to be really good. Um, I've told my husband it's the best wedding anniversary gift I'll ever get. <laughs> um, he just, yeah, looked at me. Um, Okay, what one word best describes you? I thought a fair bit about this one. Um, there's, you know, quite a few different words I could think of, but um, I think the one that I, I narrowed it down to is indecisive. Um, I, I'm never sure, even when I do make a decision, um, there's always that element of doubt with me. Is that the right thing? Is that what I want? Um, so yeah, indecisive. Okay, so that's it I think for this one. I will be back after the school holidays um, with a update um, on what I've been working on. Um, so yeah, that's that. I'm not going to have any time in the next couple of weeks. It's, it's just going to be full on. Um, <sighs> trying to keep an eight-year-old occupied and not say, I'm bored, Mum. What can I do, Mum? Mm. Love her to death, though. Okay. So, yep, yeah, I think that's it. I'm just procrastinating now. Thank you so much to everybody who's subscribed, everybody who's liked, commented. Um, it's It's been really good to be back. Um, I also have... An Instagram account which is also Stitchaholic Anonymous if you want to find me on there and, and follow me um, please do um, and yeah I'll see you next time okay bye